Hi folks, I'm just going through this box of my dad's uh, old tools. I'm going to start restoring some of them. So at the moment I'm just going through it and picking out the stuff that I would like to restore and uh, separating that out. Uh, and I'll put that all into a fresh box and then I'll restore a, a bit at a time. Yeah, nice little axe. Probably treat that electrolysis and then get it polished up. This looks like it's a bit past it, so I'll probably just uh, leave that or chuck it out. These just need quick clean up. So I'll go through and I'll show you what I've picked out after. So here we go, there's the first thing put back into service. It's an old Stanley knife. All it needed was a blade, so I just threw a blade in. And I'll put it back to work. So this is it. This is the pile I've picked out that I'm going to clean up or restore. Some I'm going to put back into use. Uh, some I'm just going to clean up to uh, preserve them. Uh, to keep them for historical reference. And for uh, sentimental reasons. So as you can see there's a, a good selection of stuff there. Old hand drill. That unfortunately is missing some pieces of its chuck. Might be able to find something to replace them. So I'm just going to work on these um, over time. Here's the got like old saws. Let's see, it's a Eclipse number 66 for general purpose sawing. So it says on that side of the saw, and we saw that. Unfortunately, this is missing a. A bit of the blade, but I can still tidy it up and possibly use it. I don't know. But certainly a piece worth keeping. Also, put in the box that other little saw as well, which won't take much cleaning up. Now we just got a random piece, just a pair of little pliers. Uh, Whatever they are, uh, someone can tell me the name if there's a proper name for them. Uh, check that out for a screwdriver. Unfortunately, missing the part of its handle. I'll certainly clean it up and uh, see if I can replace the handle on that. There might be some information on it. Don't know. Yeah. We've got this old file. I'm not sure if uh, electrolysis will recover this, but I'm uh, certainly interested to see, so I'll give that a try. I'll try that uh, first. We've got various wedges. I'll clean them up, so I'll put them into use. It's another old hand drill. I'll tidy that up. And this I really like, it's an old uh, cloth tape measure, a leather case and uh, brass fittings. There you go, it's made, what is it? That's a uh, treble. Treble, England. So, there you get that oiled up. I'm going to preserve that for a bit. See. Old cloth tape. Very nice. What else we got? Um, forget the name of this. Well, we'll get that tidied up, put back into use. A couple of cold chisels. Well, that's just maybe a punch. There are some drill bits and the uh, some bits for a tool ball which I'll probably cut down for use on the back of the tractor who do you want to old bit and brace saw before this old 
I think is a kerosene blowtorch and looking at it I think it's brass missing the a knob or something off the end there well I think I'll get it get it polished up and get it tidied up and uh, use it for a display piece I reckon here we got the uh, plane I need much uh, work done but I'll tidy it up a little bit get it oiled up we got these scissors uh, some of these old scissors are a hell of a lot better than the new ones you can get so I'll clean them up see how they turn out got this uh, pickaxe it's just really needs polished yeah, polished up just needs uh, a bit of electrolysis and a new handle we got this big pry bar thing yeah, that cleaned up. See, so, old screwdriver. There are various spanners and wrenches. And as I showed before, the hammerheads and this axe or hatchet. That'll get all tidied up. So that's it for now. I'll bring you back in a later video uh, when I start the electrolysis and the uh, polishing up. Okay, bye for now.